gentlemen boys and girls it's that time again <laughs> please welcome the man who can solemnly swear he is up to no good the one and only gino deville <laughs> uh, oh I'm, I'm nice. muted. I'm, i've unmuted <laughs> myself <laughs> i'm not here it's not true hello Hello. Where are How we? Are you, mate? Where are we? Where are? Oh, there we are. Hello. Am I there? Am I there? You are there, I'm... Gino. Man. Wow. Good morning. Morning. Morning, world. How is everybody today? Yes. And uh, you know, to all my coffee drinker friends in Australia, because it's a big thing at the moment. Cheers to you all. <laughs> wow. Well, here we are. That day is upon us. Yay. The arms in the air this? with excitement. Yay. The launch. Ooh, it's that ooh. time today. OK, but mm, I'm going to keep my mouth shut just for a second because a uh, couple more things to uh, just talk about before we get into that. So first of all, Jay, my friend, how are you? Thank you very much. I am. Uh, I'm good. I'm really good. Uh, full on, as you can expect, this has been a massive project uh, up till the wee hours of the it. morning, getting the first render. Uh, then we just redid it. So they kind of got up at four this morning to fine tune, just tweak a few of the bits. But boy, really pleased with how this has come out. I mean, overall, the whole right. point was we were going to set a new bar, you know, a new oh, standard. Yes. And in this case, really, a, 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 a you know, an, an incredible uh, overview of the just the whole genre of this type of magic. So, yeah, oh, amazing. absolutely, mate. Absolutely. I tell you what, I, it's, it's awesome. Now, for those of you that are just tuned in and are going, hey, what are these two chip chatting about? Well, today is the official launch of a new J. Scott Berry download by the name of Get Real. And uh, if you want to know what Get Real is, it is I, honestly, I can use this word. I never thought I'd be able to use this word completely about something that I was involved with. This is the definitive work on real and silk magic. I mean, this is the work that people have been waiting for a lifetime. It changes, changes everything. It's absolutely awesome. So without further ado, before we dive into that, because basically that is what today's show is all about. It's the official launch of Get Real. Uh, what I will say 
is that if you are a MailShot subscriber, if you are a newsletter subscriber at DeVille Magic, do not do anything until you check your newsletter, which should be in your mailbox now. So don't race off and do anything until you've read that. That's all I'll say on that one. Uh -huh. Thank you very much for being a subscriber. And if you're not, you should be. Um, so <laughs> before we dive into it, I've got loads of the in Get Real. There are five, five new routines, right, Jay? That is correct. Five new routines, 30 moves, uh, many of which are original. I, as always, yes. I sort of take the best of classic, fine tune them, rework them, take the best of the old, add the best of the new to, to get us to this next level. And I, oh. definitive is, I mean, I wouldn't have used that word until I realized how big this has become. So well, I would agree, there's nothing like it in the history of magic. Not even well, absolutely. Involved. I mean, yeah. you have done I pay you that you in Deville Magic's download section, we have a number of downloads which are focusing on real and silk magic that you've already done. This one just uh, it just ups the level to, Those were to the new heights. Yeah, that totally. was like a year ago. I mean, that was just short little kind of here's some teasers. Those were the hors d'oeuvres. Sure. Yeah. Sure, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> this is the steak. This is the steak vegetables. This the is the main, main course. course. I mean, this is a huge three ounce in the three ounce, three kilogram. This is 70 a 70 minutes worth, steak. I would 70 minutes all up yes. and packed. Oh my gosh, this is 70 <laughs> minutes. Right. Well, look, we, we're just rabbiting on all over the blah, place. Blah, blah. Let's, let's dump into a video. This is the world premiere. Oh, the world premiere of one of the routines that's on the download. This is called Wonderful. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Now, for those of people who are watching that are in the know, myself and others and dear, uh, another dear Aussie friend of ours, Daz, uh, we've all said the same thing. And you've just proved it once again. The get ready is worth the price of the download alone. <laughs> yeah. And look, nothing happens overnight. That's 45 years in the making oh, yeah. to get to that. And yeah, rethinking and Brilliant. reworking and, you know, a thousand shows and trials and errors and everything. But yeah, absolutely. it's nice to sort of, even for me, I'm going, wow, oh, finally got it. 45 years of practice. Finally got it. <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Okay. Well, listen, right. This show today, Genomania 5 today is 
pretty much dedicated to the launching of Get Real. So we're going to play some more of the routines from the Get Real, uh, Get, Get, Real, Get Real download throughout the show. But we're going to dive into it now. Anyone that's watching right now, I'm going to tell you this. As it's the official launch, we're going to offer you something rather special. We're going to offer you a 20% discount on Get Real. Now, this offer will last up until the 31st of October. So basically, 10 days time. However, dear friends, you've got to work for it. So what I'm going to say to you now is grab yourself a pencil and a pen, because I'm going to hit you throughout this show. I'm going to hit you up with a few questions, and I'm going to then tell you what to do with them. So you're going to need a pencil and a pen. So make sure you get that ready now, and we'll come back to that in a moment. Okay, before we move on, um, what else have we got coming up through the Academy and Deville Magic over the next few weeks? Well, I will tell you now, next week we will be launching the official OMC. Ooh. What's the OMC? The OMC, the Original Magic Contest. Ooh, yeah, we are going to be running a magic contest. Yes, a video magic contest. We've got the most awesome judges and we have got the most awesome prizes. And what's better of all of this is it's absolutely 100% completely free to enter. So what are we doing it for? We are doing it for one reason and one reason only. Both DeVille Magic and the Academy Illusion, our main aim is to push magic forward. That's it. That's why we're doing it. Yes, it's business related and the store earns us money, but it is we are doing this to give back what we have had for 40 odd years in magic and we're pushing magic forward. So that will be the OMC, the original magic contest. So stick, make sure that, you know, next week we're going to give the full information for that. Right. Um, so what else have we got to talk about before we get back to get real? All right, you should have a uh, pencil and paste paper ready. Pencil, I can't speak today. I'll have a quick cup of tea. Uh, we should have uh, a pencil and paper ready. So I'm going to hit you with the first question. Now, if you would like to win a 20% discount on get really right you really want a 20 percent discount you've got it already <laughs> <laughs> if you would like a 20 percent discount of the brand new definitive work on real and silk magic get real Ooh, woo. four questions coming at you throughout the show here is question number one now Listen very, very carefully and write down your answer. Do nothing more with the answer for now. Question number one. J. Scott Berry is a former world magic champion. What are the world magic championships called? Write down your answer now. <laughs> Righty-ho. Okay. So that is, once again, that question. J. Scott Berry is a former World Magic Crap Champion. What are the Magic World Championships called? And write down your answer. Do not post it in the comments now, because if you do, people who don't know the answer will uh, be getting the answer. Right, before we move on, I've got a couple of little performance pieces that I'm going to uh, give for you today. Uh, this is one that uses in a magic world. It's an off the shelf. Oh, look at that. There it is. There it is. Don't come too close. They'll see the inscription on the badge and know the answer. <laughs> so a little oh, look at that. Look at that. It's not the Olympics, but it is the magic Olympics. <laughs> I was wow. able to catch the grass. I can't believe I went, wait a minute. I think I know where this, the medal is. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually found it. <laughs> well, hey, and why not? Why not? You see, but 
But the bigger question is, OK, now, come on, be honest. When was the last time you put that round your neck? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 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 I had lost it for a few years, you know, just in the bottom of some magic box or whatever ah, yeah. when I moved. And I was like looking and looking, but, oh, so there it is. Cool. <laughs> cool yeah again okay keep that well away from the camera i've just noticed that actually on there well i've seen one this this yeah. inscription on it is there so yeah yeah <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so before we move on with the craziness a little bit of a, a little bit of a performance piece while this is running jay have a look at uh, make sure that nobody is typing uh, answers into the comments because that would be a, all right, a bad right. okay thing. i'll keep an eye on that good Alrighty, so here we go. This is a uh, little performance piece of mine using using a common off-the-shelf magic gimmick, and that's all I'll say about that. As soon as I started the shuffle, I knew this game was going to be different. They knew what was what, just as I knew what was what. Wow, that was a lot of watts. As I dealt. I felt all eyes on me, burning me, like a cigarette pushing into my flesh. I was playing straight up, no stacking or base dealing tonight. I glanced my hand, whole lot of garbage. I used my other skill, magic. <laughs> And there it is. That's... I just like the character <laughs> yes. in the bottle yes. of Corona. Yes. The, 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 the magic is totally superlative. That is my attempt at and using the fingers of art. I, don't... <laughs> I like I don't it. Do, I don't do art. But yeah, I must admit, I had fun doing that one. Right. So it's that time. Now, let, let's, let's tell us a little bit more. Let, let's talk a little bit more about Get Real. So... Silk and real magic. We're not going to go too much into what it is. If you're if you're a, a magic exponent, you should have an idea of what that is. Um, so tell us something. Tell us something about it, Jay. Tell us something about it. Yeah, as you said, the the, the point of this is number one to sort of up raise the bar overall on on teaching, training, teaching in videos. And look, I've been doing videos for 40 years through from all the way back to VHS to super to high eight to got the first digital cameras. Finally, we went to full digital audio, uh, digital um, desktop uh, publishing or desktop producing with the premiere. 40 years ago, I produced one of the very first all digital videos because it wasn't even really dvds and that was the light fantastic and so that was the first step into literally premiere version 1.0 so i've always been on the crest of the wave and this just sort of takes that all the way we're producing it not only in the full 1080p so as high a quality as reasonably possible for a downloadable product but also the, the, just the structure of it to keep it as user friendly as possible, very clearly laid out the different routines and then each piece is indexed. So to, for, for the most efficient time learning to me, it's like on one hand, you wanna say, yeah, this is great, but ultimately it's about learning it. And anyone who truly wants to learn, you can come back to this and say, now I wanna learn the cane, uh, the cane and, and silk routine or cane and scarf. It's like, okay, clearly boom, right to that section break out the different five, six sections. And as you said, even the opening, the, the boot camp and basic training are yeah. so over the top worth the price of the lecture or the, the oh, thing. Totally. There's totally. a handful of moves in there that are just absolute breakthroughs. The yeah, years and years of training and development, I just poured it all into this one project. Sure. Well, what, well, I tell you what, what I what I absolutely adore about this project more than anything else is that it's taken. We all we all know, especially at, at, a, at a high pro level, one of the things that happens, which is a bit of a bone of contention, is that people will buy a, a trick and then they will go and present it exactly as it's done on the video or in the early days as it was written. And it will literally, you will have hundreds of people cloning that routine. Some will do it better than others, but basically speaking, it's the same routine. What I love about this 
is that that takes away from that because you've got the boot camp and you've got the initial training. So in that first section, you're learning the techniques. Now, that is even before you get to the tricks that you are putting on there. What's happening is they're learning the uh, they're learning the mechanics, they're learning the methods, they're learning the handling of it. Well, just while that's going on, the brain is starting to go, wow, I can do this and I can do this and I can do this. And then afterwards, then it's going, oh, well, look, here's a trick. But the tricks themselves, you could add them into, for example, there are five routines. There are five routines. You could take a small part of one routine, a small part of another routine, a small part of another routine, push them all yep. together, and then you've got something that's world class. If you put the time and the practice in, you've got world, a world class routine, which is unique to an individual. And this is what is awesome for pushing magic forward. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah, that part of by setting this up, each routine becomes in and of itself, but also an example of the possibilities. And I continue to say, I say you can pick and choose. You know, yes. it, these are modular concepts which I'm showing different variations depending on the object. But the funny thing is over the years, I remember I've gotten some of the strongest reactions, strongest reactions by doing outdoor magic and walking up to a lamppost and people all around me and walking up and going, holding the scarf and going one, two, three, whoom, and pulling it through. No cane, Absolutely. no wander, a lamppost. And, and that's sort of what I used with the thinking of the through the arm. I thought, well, let's. Totally. I introduced this whole idea. Well, you don't need anything. What do you, let's just wrap it around totally. the arm and pull it through and pull it through. So, a lot, again, pushing magic forward oh, is what DeVille magic is about. It's what the Academy of Illusions is about. You know, it, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is absolutely incredible. I mean, your your the the idea of the lamppost. Like we were talking the other day, and some of those techniques, I suddenly went, "Whoa, my goodness!" In an outdoor festival environment that I do a lot of over here, you know, still the the things that were coming in because it becomes such organic magic, you know. It's, what, it's one just of the points incredible. I make, I just even in, in in the explanations, I say, imagine what you can do with a broom, a broom, mm. a broom. Magic. I mean, t I started imagining last night after I was sort of overloaded with all of this. I went to sleep and I'm right before going to sleep. I had this wonderful routine of a of a broom starting to sweep and yeah. having just a, a not a like a silk magic scarf, but a cloth. Just, you yeah. know, you're wiping and cleaning and then the whole yeah. like you're dancing with the broom and then it. Yeah. I was like, whoa, yeah. <laughs> I mean, absolutely, um, absolutely. Take it from and the total the simplicity thing. point of, you know, why not? A microphone stand, how's that different than, than a, broom? Uh, a broom? So yeah, it's definitely a about trying to absolutely. inspire yeah. everyone to another level. Oh, totally, totally. Now, you see, instantly, you've just turned around and said a broom. Imagine a theme park performer for, or, or any type of performer doing a character costume as a cleaner. They've got a broom with them and they've got a cloth with them. It's right, two organic just... props. And now yeah. you can do the most incredible magic with the props that you're using. Oh, it's absolutely unbelievable. Hey, right, I'm jumping in, I'm jumping in. Right then, because I've just noticed the time. We're doing our rabbit, it's so exciting today. Question number two. Ooh, right, grab your pencils right now. Here it is. If you've just tuned in and don't know what's going on, we're offering a 20% discount on Get Real for the next 10 days. If, uh, well, actually, <laughs> for the winner of this competition. So that's something I missed out in the beginning, wasn't it? The winner of this competition, there's only going to be one, and that's a 20% discount winner. So here is the question number two. If you have a deck of cards and every other card is slightly smaller, what's the deck called? Well, once again, if you have a deck of cards and every other card is slightly smaller, what is the deck called? Write down that name and do nothing else. So that is question number two. I will, in case somebody has just walked in, I'm going to hit you with that question number one once again. So this is question number one. Jay Scott Berry, 
is a former world magic champion. What are the world magic championships called? Write your answer down and do nothing else now. So that is the first two questions. Now, once again, the winner of this competition that's going to happen right on air at the end of the show today will get a 20% discount on uh, the product. Ah, oh, screw it. No, 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 no. Screw it, Jay. I'm being wild today. I'm being wild today. <laughs> okay. No, the winner of this competition, and there's only going to be one, there's only going to be one winner. The winner, you can get it for free. Screw it. That's we'll it. give it away for free. That's for right. Free. The first one to post the answer in Facebook gets it for yes. free. Yes, That'll indeed. Get the their first attention. one, the, the first <laughs> one to give us the answer. But don't think that the answer to these questions is the answer of the quiz because it's not. <laughs> no, so I... write your answers down and then stand by and get ready. I think it's time for another, um, another, another performance video of Get Real. Yeah. Okay. A year off and running. Okay. So this one, actually, I don't think that he'll be watching because he uh, he's based in the UK now, but uh, an old, old, old street legend by the name of John Lenahan. Um, he is actually thinking of doing uh, Silk Through Mike Stand. So we've been telling him about the new download coming. So if you are watching, John, this is Silk Through Mike Stand off the new Get Real. And it's awesome. in the air Ooh, wow wow raising one the bar. minute i one minute <laughs> that was my i was my pared down routine for the TikTok wow. attention span one minute wow. of magic <laughs> yeah that wow and that but i mean we're we're not just talking one minute of magic we are talking one minute of magic yeah. i mean that is that is that is what every single one of us strives to achieve something that looks like real magic i mean that's just like wow and i love i love the cross dance <laughs> that's the original that was the again i often wait i try to think of you know when i'm when i'm designing routines uh like with circularity the, the flying release where the ring flies yeah, up yeah. and i catch it you know you need the, you know a closer that's like yeah that was unique oh, absolutely and cool. Oh, yeah, almost all the closing routine, a bunch of the moves are original, but that, yeah, that, yeah. that definitely the, well, the crossover is like, it's, what? The, it's the wow moment. It's the wow moment. <laughs> what was yeah. that? Even you say my son is like super genius and he's like, whatever about magic. He's grown up with it. He's seen it all, whatever. I'm showing him this stuff going, what do you think? And he's like, he says, that breaks the laws of physics. I say, exactly. <laughs> It's, it's the wow moment. It's the wow factor, which uh, is actually, as you well know, it's a lot hard to find than you might think. You know, um, I mean, I'm going to do a very, quick shout very... out just a second. Just a shout Please. out. Uh, Braden, the ones on the uh, Facebook page, Braden, Braden, thanks for che checking out. Now, John, thanks for for. I've actually hidden your comment, John, because you started putting up the pieces of the answer. So, <laughs> well, it's okay. It wasn't, what we're trying to do is there's going to be four answers to the question, and that becomes, out of that, you're going to extrapolate the answer to the contest. So I actually hid it so you're not helping anyone else along. But, though, uh, yes, <laughs> we got, at least John's on the right track. He's on the bloodhound on the trail. Cool. Good guy, good guy. Shout out to you, John. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yes. So once again, once again, we've decided to give away a free copy of the Get Real download. But you've got to earn it. <laughs> there will be four <laughs> questions. Four questions. Write the answers of those questions down and then get ready at the end for the final. What yeah, do you once call you it? got those in Re front of you, because I he 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 like messed with my head the other night on with this question. He says uh, this test, this ah. challenge. So <laughs> yeah, so so write your answers down and then get ready for the final reveal. And with that said, with that said, for those of you that have just joined us now, we will go through the questions once again. So here we go. Question number one, do not write it in the comments, just write it on a piece of paper or into an iPad or a cell phone device at home. Do not post it yet. So here we go, question number one. J. Scott Berry is a former world magic champion. What are the world magic championships called? Write down the answer now, but do not post it. Question number two. If you had a deck of cards and every other card is slightly smaller, what is that deck called? Write down the answer, lock it in, but do not post it. Right. I'm going to hit you right now with question number three. So here we go. There's only four. So here is question number three. <coughs> now. I worked on a show last year as a guest magician for a very famous American illusionist who made the space shuttle vanish. Who is he? Write down his name, do not post it. Once again, question number three. I worked on a show last year. Yes, lucky me, while everyone else in the world was in lockdown. Luckily, over here in China, I managed to grab a gig. <laughs> so I worked on a show last year for a very famous American illusionist. He was the guy that made the space shuttle vanish. Who is he? Write his name down and lock it in. Right. So that's the first three questions. There's one more question to go, but do not post the answers to the questions because that is not the quiz. Ooh. <laughs> You're so tricky. <laughs> I know, I know. Right, so let's, let's, let's move away to something completely different for a moment, if we may. Good idea. Uh, I got a little something for you, Jay. A little something Me? for you. So I'm going to need you. Yeah, I'm going to show I'm you back. something. You're back. <laughs> Groovy. So I'm going to move to the uh, to the to the close up studio, but I'm going to run a little uh, intro because this is what I call this is the world premiere. And I'm going to do it just for you, Jay. A little bit of commercial silliness. I'm calling this the most ridiculous magic trick in the world. Go to full screen, if you please. I'm over in the uh, in the close-up gallery now to make this even fairer for the world I've not put a green screen on so I've got a green background how green is that now I do apologize because we've got the monitor over there and the camera over here so I'm going to keep looking and I'm going to keep coming back right Jay are you there you can come back into the stage if you would be so kind I am here Awesome. Yes. Hello. OK, I'd like to show a little something just for you because oh. uh, you're you're the only one that's here. But this is special <laughs> just for you. <laughs> as you well know, as you well know, in magic, the term prediction comes to play an awful lot. Now, predictions are made on playing cards. They're made on little scribbly bits of paper. They're now made with cell phone devices. They're put in boxes hanging high in a ceiling in the grandest of theatres. Predictions have been done in a million different ways. 
I'm going to do a prediction that's never done before, ever. I'm going to make a prediction out of children's modelling clay. Yay! Woo, woo, right. Woo, woo. So, just concentrate in your mind for a moment. Just let your mind go blank. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this modelling clay and I'm going to twist something. I'm going to model it. It's almost like balloon modelling with goo. So this is, uh, this is going to be absolutely awesome. OK, so here we go. I've, uh, yeah, I've sculpted something, and this is my prediction. I'm going to place it down onto the table, and to cover it, I need something to cover it with. Um, oh, I'll use my hair. <laughs> so there it is. In, <laughs> In plain sight the whole time. I told you it was ridiculous. <laughs> right. I thought that was a tribble on your head. <laughs> no. Oh, who's been watching Star Trek? Uh, right. That's In this the little trouble. Envelope, the, the envelope of doom and destruction. I've got a few cards with question marks on the back. I'll give these a little shuffle like so, and then I'm going to lay them down like so now jay i have six cards uh, there we are perfect in the alignment we have six mm -hmm. cards jay without thinking about it please give me a number one through six four four so we have one two three four five six so one two three four we'll slide it out of the way so we have six cards here on the table you've chosen number four totally free choice correct that's correct Absolutely. So let's just see what the other ones are. We have, oh, look, 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 look. There's, there's Sammy the seal. Oh, so cute. Oh. Sammy the seal there. We have, uh, oh, 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 there's Nelly the Fant. There's Nelly oh. the Fant. Hello, Nelly He's the Fant. Just... Yes. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, to be true. oh, we've got Bully. Bully the dog. Oh, <laughs> Bully the dog is <laughs> <almost laughs> there. <laughs> we've got, ah, oh, we've got Snake. Oh, yes, there he is. Snake. Oh, and we've got, oh, there we got my friend Sharky Shark. I do like mm. Sharky Shark. There it is. Ah. But, Jay, you didn't pick any of those. You picked this card. Oh, and this card is Porky the Pig. You chose Porky the Pig. And so for the first time, having a look, at the prediction that was made, we have <laughs> Porky the Pig. <laughs> Porky the Pig. Porky the Pig. It's a big it is. prediction. That is <laughs> the <laughs> most ridiculous magic trick in the world ever. <laughs> Full screen camera. Oh, uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> You see, that's why we've got Genomania, because every kingdom needs a jester. But no matter what. <laughs>
the definitive work on real and silk magic by the one and only J. Scott Berry. It's launched today from devillemagic.net. It's $20 for a 70 minute download. And trust me when I say the get readies alone are worth the price of the product. But in grand scheme of things, if you're on the devillemagic.net mailing list, you will have had a, 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 a newsletter this morning with a rather special offer in it. So make sure you check that if you uh, are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, make sure you get on our list so then you can uh, get some other groovy deals as well over at devillemagic.net. But today, as it's the grand launch here on Geniomania, we are giving away one free copy very, very shortly. Four questions. Write the answers down and then get ready for the final reveal. These are not what we're looking for in the competition questions. So don't write these down. Don't post these, whatever you do. Well, Question these are the clues. number one. In other words, these Sorry, are the yeah, first these are the just clues. Thank you. I'm trying to give away the same. clues, and then you're going to drop the final. You got to piece yes. the puzzle on them. Yeah, piece the puzzle together. Yes. Okay. So for those that have just rolled in, we're going to give you the questions once again. Question number one: J. Scott Berry is a former World Magic Champion. What are the World Magic Championships called? Write it down. Do not post it. Question number two, if you had a deck of cards and every other card was slightly smaller, what is that deck called? Write it down, do not post it. Question number three, I worked on a show last year as a guest magician for a very famous American illusionist. He's the guy that made the space shuttle vanish. Who is he? Write down his name, but do not post it. Yay. Right. Question number four. Okay, this is the final question. Once again, do not post your answer, but write it down and get ready. Here we go. <clears throat> Who made a huge name for themselves in the 1980s as a self-described psychic? by bending spoons and other metallic objects. What was his name? Once again, question number four, who made a huge name for themselves in the 1980s and 1990s as a self-described psychic by bending spoons and other metallic objects? Uh, now, just to give you a slightly further clue, this guy, as I say, through the 80s, uh, used to say that he was a psychic and he was on TV all over the world, absolutely incredibly, hugely famous. It wasn't until the late 90s, early 2000s that he turned around and said, <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> I'm just a sleight of hand magician. <laughs> um, so it was one of the biggest, uh, for much of it, one of the biggest cons ever. <laughs> it was absolutely brilliant. But anyway, who made a huge name for themselves in the 80s as a self-described psychic by bending spoons and other metal things. What's his name? Jot that down, but do not post it. Right now, you should have four answers, four answers. And right after our next clip, which comes from the Get Real DVD, Get Real Download, I should say, I will hit you with the final piece of the puzzle. This is, oh, oh actually, Jay, this is tied up. And this is you getting tied up. Ooh.
Wow! Yay! Wow! Oh, absolutely awesome. And oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that with your little black tassels on the end. I like woo, it. Woo, woo. Um, I tell you what, mate, I really, what I really like about that one, you know, there you are in your sort of, you know, your black muscle short and shirt and your black jeans with the ponytail <laughs> back and that little, little, little sexy wink at the beginning of it, you know, just before you get tied up. I mean, it's oh, very that's just for you, sweetie. <laughs> oh, it's very seventies magic <laughs> porn, isn't it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's groovy. Yeah, that's groovy. Well, that, hey, this okay. is a funny routine because I actually it's conceived awesome. that routine when I got hired for a what they call hen's night. It's the equivalent uh, yeah, of the yeah, Bucks yeah. night, the stag nights. But for and yeah. I got hired for one a few years ago, and I thought, okay, it's got to be risque. It's got to be, and I of course, it was longer than that. I did all this stuff, and we're, you know, you tie in the, but it was all about the magic effect of, yeah, how do we make it fun and topical? And since oh, then, I've done the routine for obviously risque cabaret situations, but also for for kids. The kids in Rome. Oh, I mean, nobody. Yeah. That's the beauty of it is by shifting the presentation ever so subtly. Like, you do it for kids. Yeah. You know, and they're, so they're cool. holding the rope, and I say, "You're you tug of war. You hold this one. You hold this one. Boom, pull." You know. Yo. You know again, so it's just this ability to, you, with these this sort of arsenal of moves and concepts, mm. you can improv. I mean, so many of my performances oh, of this yeah. actually turn into improv where you'll go out in the audience and, you know, you get people up and surrounded and stuff. So, yeah, well, lo lo just lots of fun. I mean, I, I can tell you, I can tell you something. Yeah. A lot of these, um, obviously, I don't nowadays, I don't work the real street too much anymore. Um especially living in China, because it's not doable. But when I get the chance, I will still go out and bang out a real street show. But I do a lot of festivals where they are the next best thing to a real street pitch, as in there's no stage, there's no PA, literally just drop your bag in the middle of this big area and you start. Well, one of the big techniques that we can use as street performers is to create our own edge or our own edge of the stage. And I use a very long piece of rope. Now, one of my crowd building techniques is I have a 30, 40, minute, 40 meter piece of rope. The first people that stop, I let them hold the middle of it. And as more people come in, I give them a little piece more to it. So what happens is I'm controlling the edge of my audience as it gets larger and larger. And I end up with this huge half moon of all people holding the rope like this. Then at the count of three, I get them to all drop it it drops to the ground. And so now there's my edge and I've controlled the audience. However, with this piece, that literally adds a magical dynamic as part of that crowd build. You know, when two people are holding the rope, you can just come along with a, 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 a silk or whatever and bang, amazing magic during that part. So there's, oh, there's parts for that sort of stuff absolutely everywhere. It's incredible. It's awesome, mate. Huge respect. Hats off or hair Hats off, I hair off. <laughs> <laughs> Right. We're 50 minutes in. We're almost almost at the end. Uh, so let's just uh, let's just recap today. October the 21st, 2021 is the official launch of Get Real, the definitive silk and real work by the one and only JSB, J. Scott Berry. It's available now on the site devillemagic.net. It's $20 for the download. It's there right now. If you are a devillemagic.net mailing list subscriber, you will have already had a newsletter this morning with a rather special offer. But if you are not, make sure you sign up so you don't miss other offers. But right now, we're going to give one lucky viewer the chance to get a copy absolutely free. So come closer. Listen carefully. <laughs> throughout the show <laughs> i've given you i've given you four questions i will once again because we're really nice just repeat the questions just in case you've missed any question number one it's going to be fast number one j scott berry is a former world magic champion what are the world magic championships called question number two 
if you had a deck of cards and every other card is slightly smaller, what is that deck called? Question number three. I worked on a show last year as a guest magician for a very famous American illusionist, the guy who made the space shuttle vanish. Who is he? Question number four. Who made a huge name for themselves in the 1980s as a self-described psychic by bending spoons? Question number four. Now, listen very carefully. This is the reveal, and this is where it gets complicated, and this is where it threw Jay the other day because he was having a glass of wine at the time. <laughs> so, question number one. JSB is a former Magic Champion. What is the World Magic Champions called? Take the first letter of that name and write it down. The first letter of that name. Okay. Question number two. If you had a deck of cards that are slightly smaller on every other card, what is that deck called? Take the first letter from that name. The first letter from that name and write it down. Question number three. I worked on a show last year as a guest magician for a famous American illusionist who made the space shuttle vanish. Who is he? Now listen carefully. Take the first letter of his surname. The first letter of his last name, his surname. First letter of his surname. Question number four. Who made a huge name for themselves in the 1980s as a self-described psychic by bending spoons? Now listen carefully. Take the third letter from his first name. The third letter from his first name. You should now have four letters. All we want you to do, the first person that posts a very simple word using those four letters will win a free copy of Get Real. It's that simple. Now, trust me, this is a very, very easy word using those four letters. <laughs> and go! Well, and go! <laughs> right, so while this is happening, while this is happening, I will show you another one of my uh, social media videos. This is an effect called Solitaire Crossing, but this is Solitaire Crossing version two. And then the next two weeks, I will be releasing the download of how to make this gimmick. that and that yeah. just totally does my head in uh, <laughs> that's my that as is... tristan would say it breaks the laws of physics <laughs> Yay! okay that we have solitary. a winner we have a winner. a winner yes john johnson well done and he was who, clear who he was, was waiting was i could just uh, yeah john johnson wins the free copy of get real oh, so well done john sir. johnson and, and you've got a well name. deserved john great magician great guy the name of a winner Yes. The name of a winner. Two Christian John, names. Fantastic. John Johnson. Yes. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Awesome, my friend. Awesome. Congratulations to you. So now, do you uh, do you know John Jay? Yes, I do. I can uh, send okay. his info. Or so he will make sure that. But yeah, he's awesome. one of my friends. He's awesome. a, a great member. He's been following the Art of Wonder group for the whole time. Just super all around good guy. Great magician. Right, real. Yeah. 
Excellent. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, what was we'll the cool. He posts the coolest pictures of all the coolest motorcycles on Facebook. So. Oh, you're a you're a yeah. you're a, you're a gearhead, eh? Yeah. <laughs> not, not. Um. So stop, stop, stop. yeah, we'll get you registered into the Bill Magic, John. <laughs> we'll upgrade you to VIP status straight away, and then uh, I will uh, I will make the order in there for you, and so that will be coming your way. So, well, I guess, wow, wow. I tell you, I'm, I've got heart palpitations going on. It's been exciting today. It's been a yeah. lot of work, but it's exciting, you know. So for the, final, for the final time from me, um, once again, thank you so much, Magic World, for all the support that you've been giving Deville Magic. Uh, we've been open only six weeks and, you know, we've got hundreds of registered uh, uh, subscribers and users and customers. It's been absolutely great. But today, of course, is the official launch of Get Real, J. Scott Berry's definitive work on real and silk magic. It's available right now over at devillemagic.net. Um, $20, you'll see it as you come straight into the site. It's there. It's a great big promo. $20 is the download. If you are a devillemagic.net mailing list subscriber already, you will have had a mail shot today with an offer for you. Congratulations to John Johnson. You're getting a copy absolutely free. Um, and uh, that's kind of it from me today. Uh, and, I, I, and I'm spent. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, absolutely awesome. Another great show. Thank you, Gino. And yeah, just it's wonderful to, to, to know you as a friend, but also as just a wild and crazy guy. So <laughs> one tries, you know, one tries. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. you got any closing words, Jay? My closing words are that it's that Excelsior. I keep coming back to that. The simple concept is always reaching higher, always pushing the art farther forward. It falls right in line with the contest. I'm really looking forward to watching that unfold as one of the many projects that we have. Now, we Indeed. also are working on a full, like a complete comprehensive beginner's course of magic. Uh, that's Gino uh, yes. and I. We're sort of developing yes, that. Indeed. Lots of stuff. The JSB Signature line of products. The JSB Signature Magic Wand. Lots and lots of things on the burner. So the more you support us now, the more you're going to hasten all these other things coming. And lots indeed. more new downloads from Gino, myself. We have on the list hopefully 10. We plan 10. Quality, not quantity. But yes. in, in the working stages right now are are at least nine more from Eric Stevens, myself, Ethan Sutton, uh, and, and others, of course, Gino. Uh, so yeah, top yeah. pros putting out top stuff. It's all on the way. It's all on the way. It's going to be, it's going to be quite an exciting next six months. Um, as I say, the next big thing, just before we, we, before we head away, the next big thing coming after Get Real, which is today, is of course the announcement of the OMC. That is a completely free magic contest. Uh, it's a video based contest. So you will sub uh, submit videos. We have superstar judges and I will tell you, okay, I'll give you a sneak, a sneak, uh, a sneak peek into it now. I don't know why I'm looking around my studio for anybody listening, because I'm the only one here. So three judges, well, actually, in, in reality, there's four judges, but three judges. One, a former FISM winner. Yes, FISM. It doesn't matter me saying it now. The World Championships Magic. The one and only JSB. Yes, Jay will be one of the judges. We have the very groovy and magical extraordinaire Mr. Magic himself, Albert Tam. Now, if you're not familiar with Albert, Albert is a magic legend. He is an authorized FISM judge, which basically means that he is one of the few judges that's qualified to judge the world championships. They fly him to FISM and he is one of the, the main dudes. Um, I'm not sure if he was on the judging panel when you won, because back, actually back then he was in his competition days himself, I think. But anyway. Uh, he and I are about the same age. So, yeah, he was... Yes. Uh... Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, he, he certainly yeah, yeah, was yeah. not judging, but uh, we met no. a number of times along the way and then did a big show in, I think, 1999 Hong Kong. He produced his first big magic festival and brought me over yes. as one of the stars for that. 
Yeah, I mean, Alba, Alba is he's the, the he's one of those very few the people. Best. The epitome, epitome of magic comes from a magical family, started studying our art at five years old. And uh, as you say, you know, he's, uh, he's the same age as you now. Well, us, I will say us, you know, a little bit of difference. <laughs> he's been around um, a while, but he's got the experience. Yeah, and he's yeah, still oh, yeah, going Alba's strong. Great. Now... So to bring the youth into it, I'm keeping way out of it because I'm I'm organizing the back scenes of everything. So I didn't want to put myself in as a judge. So I have begged a favor from somebody. Um, and I say begged a favor because obviously everybody who is judging it is, is doing it as a favor. But we've got a young South African guy. Now I helped Vian, his name is Vian Vandenberg. Uh, I helped VM, I mentored him a few years ago when he was just starting out as a social media magician in South Africa. At the time, he had one million followers, so it's still quite respectable. <laughs> now, here we are, three or four years later, he's at 14 and a half million TikTok followers. He's got over a million Instagram followers. This guy is traveling the world, living the dream. He's one of the world's top 100 TikTokers. He is making an absolute uh, amazing life for himself. He's only 23 years old. This guy is the real deal and he works so, so, so hard. So, I have begged a favor from him to take a little bit of time out of his incredibly busy schedule. He will be one of our other judges. Now, there's something rather, well, even extra special with this. The fourth judge will be the people's choice. Now, to make sure that things aren't, aren't uh, nefarious and anything cheaty cheaty, the people's choice will be simple likes of the videos on the DeVille Magic Facebook page, and that will only count to 10% of the final score. So there can be no cheating. There's not somebody with a million followers and somebody with a hundred followers and it becomes very unfair. So that will just be likes on one page on Facebook and will only count of 10%. So let me tell you very quickly the prizes. Ooh, 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 Jay, come back onto the stage if you will, because let's announce the prizes together because they are special. Okay, <laughs> so winner takes all. There will be only one winner. It's as simple as that. It's completely free to enter and you can enter as many times as you like, but there's only going to be one winner. That winner will receive $200 worth of downloads from DeVille Magic. Absolutely free. You will get five hours of one-to-one -one mentor training with the one and only, hang on, hands are going the wrong way, the one and only Jay Scott Berry. Yes, indeed. Former world champion magician, Mr. Magic, one of the very few people in the world that can really wear the T-shirt, Grand Master Magician. I mean, that's really special. Five hours of training with him. Vian, our lovely friend from South Africa, is bringing to the table. The winning video will be shared and followed across his entire social media network. So that means that that video will instantly, with a click of a button, be pushed out to 14 and a half million people across TikTok, a million plus people across Instagram, and this is absolutely monstrous. But That's there's huge. more, there's what? more. Wait. But wait. Yeah there's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's more. OK, there's another very awesome magician friend of mine, friend of ours, I should say, in London called Ari Phillips. Now, he comes from a long line of leather makers and he has just started a new company called Grum Leather Crafts. And he is making the most exquisite, high end quality leather products there is. It's incredible the stuff he's doing. Right now, he's at the Magic Circle Dealer Day, and it's just like, it's swamped. It's gorgeous. He is very kindly donating a product, a handcrafted magical product. And there's more. A very, very old friend of mine, the great, the one and only Gary Animal, or some people may know him as Gary Knights. Now, if you have no idea who he is, 
take every street magician around the world and they desperate to get their hands on a set of gazo or street devil cups. These are the best cups and balls cups there are in the world. They are sought after, they traded and sold on eBay for hundreds of dollars now. They were all made by Gary Animal. He stopped making them about 15 years ago, so there, there are no more. Ring and Things bought the, the rights to them. They're not the same. Gary has recently bought a new lathe and he is turning out the most beautiful wands. And he also makes street pouches and various things. He will donate a prize to this competition. Ooh. That will be something that's made by Gary Animal. Now, what these mystery prizes are, I'm not telling you. I know, but I'm not telling you right now because it's, it, they're just incredible. They're awesome. So, that is the prizes of the OMC, the original magic contest. Next week on Genio Mania 6, we will give you the full SP on what it's all about. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited. Amazing. Outstanding. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Man, I want to enter. Oh, I can't. I'm judging. <laughs> you can't. No, no, no. <laughs> well, that pretty much wraps things up for me. I had a couple more things, but we're going over time now, so we'll we'll save them till next week. We'll push that off. And just so everyone knows, we've settled into this time. It, you know, depending on time zone shifting, it may shift an hour or two, but uh, this is the time every every week from now on. You're not on tour. I'm settling in. So we've got the Genomania show, same time, same bat channel, one week from today with lots more uh, fun, craziness, madness, all good. Yes. Well, I'm, actually, I'm, I was gonna I was gonna talk to you about that because obviously we are doing this time now, which is very user friendly for moi because it's ten o'clock in the morning my time. It's twelve lunchtime where you are. Um, I know for the American audiences is okay, but obviously the um, English audience, it's um they're all asleep. So yeah, I was the time zone talk. thing's a bummer. That's why I've been really doing is. so many of my things at like five in the morning, but that's like three yeah. or two in the morning for you so <laughs> well i was thinking i was thinking i wonder if we can discuss this and make a more time friendly zone for for the world um i mean obviously speaking we can't do multiple because we're doing this live it's not a pre-recorded thing so so let's have a chat I'm about that open, I don't mind. Well, look as with everything that we're doing we're making it up as we go along so any yeah. feedback is appreciated any feedback yeah. on any of the project anything what we're doing because we'll simply apply that to the next creation and the next production. So yeah, I Indeed. totally agree. If we want to adjust yeah. the time and we feel there's enough that would rather have it shifted to their time zone, we will adapt yeah. accordingly. Because I know there were an awful lot of people who were really interested in the get real and they wanted to come in today, but they're UK based and uh, they're four in the morning. They're all fast yeah, asleep. Four in the morning. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Alrighty. All right. Well, from moi, saying love you all out there in the magic world. Mwah, 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 hugs and kisses. See you all next week. Um, Jay, I'll see you later. Fan flippantastic. Great to see you, my friend. Stay well. Keep creating. And that's it for the fifth episode. Gino Mania in the books. What an outstanding, really huge thank you to Gino for all the work and energy he's putting into these, just really helping us, you know, push all of this forward. And thank you to all of you for watching. Please share. And there's no major advertising budget behind any of this. We're doing it all from the heart for the community of magic. So please share the info. You can share these. The recordings are up. As soon as they're finished, you can share them straight across. Uh, all the muggle friendly, as this one, all the muggle friendly programs go directly to the Academy of Illusions page. And when there's more magic and technique and, you know, magi only involved, we go to the Art of Wonder group. So it's a perfect setup. We welcome your support on both sides. So all good. Once again, looking forward to next week's. Again, thank you so much. Stay well, everyone. Keep the magic alive. All right, here we go. We are going to, I got to look for my music. Hold on. Where's my music? There it is. And we are out of here.
Okay, that was it. I've got you muted, sorry. I muted. I muted you. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah buddy, there that was great. Oh, that was <laughs> fun, wasn't it? That was really fun. <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it's it was actually nice. It's a nice. I enjoy these because it's a nice flow with you. You know. Yeah, no, I agree. No, there's just a real natural, you know, Smothers Brothers sort of thing going on there. You know. Very much so. <laughs> yeah, very much so. You know, you work with some people in these environments, and it just it's just not a good click. You know, it's yeah. uh, but yeah, it's fun. Well, that so, was good. Okay. The numbers are good. We're seeing that people, the beauty of having it up on the page is the ones who can't see it, obviously live, can jump in and, and watch it. You know, right? watch, so, yes. watch the, the re recording of it. We had obviously someone jump immediately. John jumped right on the contest. So, you know, very, right. very effective. Right. As soon as you can Was get that other replacement download up, so the ones that are getting that would be, that'll be good. Uh, I'll do that now. I'll do that yeah. straight away now. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll all be ready right now okay well i'm gonna head right. off and go and get that done right now so i'll talk to you later i'll be writing up the easy article all the best buddy thanks Good so much bye